I just started the most masochistic Terraria playthrough possible. No, li like it's actually called masochist mode. Yup, that's right, I'm doing a Fargo Soul mod playthrough. Before we start, the goal is to get the Soul of Eternity, which is an overpowered item with a crafting tree with 500 plus items. <laughs> Also, during this series, I'm going to try to count all of my deaths, just to see how many times I die, and, spoiler, it's a lot. I started the playthrough off by taking the mutant's gift from the statue, and activating Masochist Mode, which summoned the Deviant. I talked to the Deviant, and it gave me a care package to start off, featuring, like, off-brand type accessories, such as the Puff in a Bottle, the Less Powerful Cloud in the Bottle, and Eurus socks the less powerful hermes boots i replaced all my copper tools with the better versions from the starter bag then i chopped some trees with the space cleared i placed my houses and made the land flat to move the statue down for some reason then i placed my magic storage underground with that done i started running to the left and i was about to die so i teleported away as i want to die as little as possible I gave up on that. Back at home, I started my elevator and then placed a ton more houses in my $7 million per month apartment complex in New York. That, that's, it's canon now. This world is New York now. Uh, deal with it. The skyline of one building complete, I went back to the mines and got a heart crystal. I continued mining down and died to a shark in my mine shaft. Just don't think too hard about that. Of course, I jumped back down, died again. I then went to the roots of two massive trees, and at the bottom of one of the trees, there was this giant opening with a chest. Did I know that this was a dead man's chest? Yes. Did I open it anyways? Also yes. I kept running right where I ran into another tree. Is it just me, or do living trees just always spawn directly next to each other? I then went into the desert where I found a pyramid holding a chest with a magic carpet, which would be my primary source of movement for the foreseeable future. Then I went deeper into the sands and died to a tomb crawler. I headed back because I saw a heart crystal and died to a rolling cactus. I eventually did make it to the heart crystal and I consumed it for some more health, falling even further and dying to another tomb crawler. We're passing the desert this time and... There it is again, more living trees right next to each other. Unsurprisingly, I took about 10 steps into the corruption before getting brutally murdered by a cursed flame. I decided to go back home and decided that this time I was not in the market for getting mauled by a shark. So I mined around it. I found another heart and some more gold on an underground railroad, and I made it about three tiles into the underground mushroom biome when I died to a ladybug. So that was cool and not humiliating whatsoever. Some of these deaths are just not interesting, so from now on, I'm just gonna say when I die to make it move on faster. So, um, <laughs> fall damage. Going to the left, I made it to the cave at spawn, which was super far away for some reason, and I ended up in the underground tundra. Then I grabbed another heart crystal, dart trap. When I made it back to the surface, I had an amazing idea. See, this is a step stool, something people would normally never use. Be because it sucks. But here's why it's actually amazing. See, with this mod, you can actually craft a step stool for really cheap. When you craft an accessory, it's given a random reforge. And if I craft enough step stools, I can get warding on it, which would give me. Well, for, for some reason, this mod changes warding to 3 defense and 5 max health. I, I don't really know, but whatever. Either way, I got to crafting. Oh, oh, uh, I, uh, I only had enough for, like, two stools, and I did not care enough to get the gel for more, so, uh, there goes that idea, I guess. I went mining again and found climbing claws and a band of regen, before dying to a spore skeleton. These two heart crystals were right next to each other. Pretty, pretty cool, right? Are, are you impressed? Yeah. You are? Yeah? It's pixels on a screen. What are you excited for, random person I just made up? Yo, Hermes boots! <coughs> Uh, Mother Slime. I then upgraded to a Tungsten Chestplate and Golden Greaves. Now this is gonna be a shocker to you, but I have never played Masochist Mode before. So when I summoned King Slime, it didn't really go how I thought it would. Yeah, I got cooked by King Slime. Then I set my mind on the Wood Enchantment, which is the first of many enchantments in Fargo's Soul Mod. I set off to the Corruption where I needed to use a Demon Altar to craft the Enchant. Eater of Souls. 
I killed a golden slime, which gave me 71 gold, and crafted my first enchantment, which gave me a whopping 1% off on all NPC shops. However, it's also based on bestiary, so it'll get better over time. Then, I made a dazzling flower and glistening gel for some new NPCs to move in. I continued mining my elevator. You know that feeling when an evil presence is watching you? Because I do. Mother slime. Look who's here. Why is it blue? I mean, it looks kind of fire. I have Cthulhu. Wait, no. Servant of Cthulhu. Oh, look, another heart crystal. Antilion Swarmer. Fall damage. Another heart crystal. And another. And another. Piranha. When I went back to the surface, I found a shark on land and started losing actual max health. So that's not good. Then I regained it though, so let's... Let's go, I guess. Shark. Curse flame. I found a cloud in a bottle, even though it does not matter in the slightest, as I already have one. This life crystal, however, very useful. Oh, and this one too. And this one as well. Now, this isn't really important, but I just wanted to mention that I died to a bubble. Actually, how? Oh, and Hunter the Hunter moved in, so that was pretty nice. I found a spider biome in the elevator and started killing them in an attempt to get this giant spider mount, which is definitely my favorite mount from the Mountain Journey mod. However, I gave up on that when I realized just how underpowered I am. Then I decided to start going for more enchantments, and I tried to get the snow enchantment, the boreal enchantment, and the cactus enchantment. None of which came to fruition just yet. Frozen zombie, ghost, rain lightning, and water sphere. The boreal enchantment needed a peach, so I mined like half of my forest biome before getting one, and then I expanded NYC with some more houses. I have Cthulhu spawned again, and obviously I died. To a demon eye? There he is! And you already know I died. Then I saw that the lead enchantment retracts like 40% of the damage from any source, so of course, I went for that. The only problem? My world had iron. And not lead. I know, crazy. I decided then that my best bet was to find the shimmer, and the tutorial I watched was actually spot on for how to find this thing, as I found the shimmer in my first digging spot. Here's what I call the shimmer trials. I love how I just straight up did not call it that until I started recording this voiceover. <laughs> before I could do anything, I died to a skeleton, and before I show this, I need to preface that after every death, I had to run to the edge of the world, which is where my shimmer was. Anyways, yeah, I ended up giving up, and I set off to the skies where I was searching for a star fury. I wanted it because I knew full well that I had a severe skill issue and needed a ranged weapon but I absolutely refused to play any class other than melee. Anyways, first one had nothing good, second one had a lucky horseshoe, and <laughs> you know what they say, third time's the charm, right? Y yeah, it actually was, because there is my star fury. With my new weapon, I had a confidence boost and summoned King Slime for a second chance, and I got significantly further this time, but still not even close to good enough. I was gonna fight him again with no prep because I refused to build an arena. So I built an arena. With the arena complete, I decided to fight King Slime, and died. But don't worry, I'll definitely get him this time. Oh. My. Gosh. Finally. Yeah, that's all for this video, because this was actually insanely painful how many deaths I had. Anyways, here are all the deaths and what killed me each time so far. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe and join the Discord. If you're interested in more Terraria content, you can also click the video on screen now. Trust me, you won't regret it.